Hi, Lara at Elliott Wave Forex with a free S&P Elliott Wave analysis for you for the week ending Friday the 6th of August. I've got quite a lot to get through with this analysis so I'm not going to do an historical overview. If you'd like to see the big picture, have a look at the last video. Jumping into an hourly, I'm sorry, a daily chart just for the last little while. We had a trend change from a long year long rise that is really clearly corrective for a primary second wave and we're starting now on a primary third wave to the downside. I still have the two wave counts, a main and an alternate. The alternate's looking slightly more problematic today, I'll explain why when we get to the hourly chart. For this here is the main wave count. We had a five waves down for a blue or minor degree wave one, now working on an ABC zigzag up for a minor wave two. It looks increasingly like this wave C is an ending contracting diagonal with a 1, 2, 3 not quite over yet to have 4 and 5 still. Within 3 it looks like we've had an A, B and we're working on C to the upside probably early next week. The target to the upside 1139.02 the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio and 1149.5 is where wave C pink will reach equality with wave A pink. So that's a nice little 10 point or 10 point or so target zone, quite a nice little zone, giving us a little, probably a higher probability of it ending up somewhere in that range. Taking you now to the hourly chart, we're going to look at the recent movement from this point here, label 2 green. Here's 2 green, and here's our recent movement. At first glance, this, this has been really difficult to analyze. This poses a few challenges. At first glance, glance, one would want to see this as an A, B, C for our third wave of the diagonal, remembering because it's an ending diagonal, every subwave must subdivide into an ABC zigzag. It's the only time you're going to see a third wave labeled ABC. So you'd want to label this ABC. It has the best look overall. But then this would have to be, that would be the end of 3, and we'd be looking at an A, B, C for 4. The problem with that is this piece of movement here, this very steep, sharp drop, no matter what time frame you look at it, 1 hour, 15 minute, even 5 minute, is a very clean, obvious 3-wave structure, and a C wave must subdivide into a 5-wave structure. Therefore, this is not a C wave. It's a 3-wave structure to the downside, which means it must be a correction over in its entirety or only an A wave of a correction. It's one of those two things. It cannot be anything else according to this wave count. It also can't be in the beginning of minor wave 3 because that would be a 5 wave structure to the downside. And again, this is obviously a 3, so it can only be an A or our B wave. Therefore, wave A of wave 3 has finished here. because we can't see an A, B, C, because this piece of movement here is really obviously not a five wave structure either. So wave A of wave three is ended here, and we've either got B, or we're working on an A, B, C further down for B orange, which cannot move below 1086.9, because once wave three started, it cannot move beyond its, its starting point. So we've got a one, two, and an extended three, four, five with a slightly truncated fifth to end wave A of wave three green, working on wave B of wave three green and then to have another five wave structure up to finally end wave three green, a target to the upside 1132.18 in the short term. So although this wave count does meet all of the rules and several of the guidelines, it also has a couple of problems. I don't like this little piece of movement seen as the same degree as this big piece of movement here and this fourth wave at aqua degree is much longer and bigger than, a, than the fourth wave at red degree which is a degree higher and the second wave which is also a degree higher. It's really easy to see this as a five wave structure, also easy to see this as a five wave structure, I have no problem with that. But I also don't like having truncations, they, do, they are technically possible but they're less likely. It's, avoid, it's best to avoid them wherever possible. 
So a couple of problems with this wave count, but it does meet all the rules and the subdivisions are correct. It's the only labelling I can find with correct subdivisions for this. Here's the alternate wave count, just going to look at this one on the daily chart. Here was the end of that long primary 2 wave that lasted about a year. The C's minor wave 1 has ended sooner, followed by an A, B, C expanded flat correction for minor blue wave 2. The best look would see this fifth wave within this ending contracting diagonal, which is wave 2 blue in its entirety, starting from here with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The best look would see this is over here with this very sharp downwards movement. It is possible to see an ABC zigzag over here. However, the problem with that is, again, this steep drop to the downside that we just looked at on the hourly chart would therefore have to be an impulse to the downside, and it very clearly isn't. It very clearly is a three-wave structure. This is still technically possible, though. We may be seeing an exaggerated ABC still to move up a little bit further to end wave 5 green a little bit higher. Because this again is a contracting diagonal, this fifth wave cannot be longer than this third wave, therefore upwards movement must remain below 1154.2 for this wave count to remain valid. So still a couple of possibilities and some tricky analysis on that hourly chart. I'm not entirely happy with that wave count, but it's the best fit that I can see that meets all of the rules for Elliott Wave. We'll see how things unfold in the next couple of days. What does seem pretty clear is the S&P certainly has a little bit higher to go before we see that trend change to that third wave at minor degree. That's all for me from <coughs> Elliott Wave Forex, and we've got a new banner picture up on the site now. This is one of my favourite spots, just a little bit down the road from my house. This is Tiari Point, which offers some really nice clean waves. Hope everyone out there is having a fantastic weekend.